In this video, we will see image enhancement. Image enhancement is a process of improving appearance of digital image and making image suitable for further analysis. For example, improving contrast and brightness, removing noise and sharpening images. Image enhancement can be done in two domains, spatial domain and frequency domain. So in spatial domain, we directly work with original images, means we apply some operation directly on pixels. So spatial domains process can be defined like this where f is input image and g is output image and operator t is defined over a neighborhood of point x y so neighborhood size can be 1 cross 1 3 cross 3 5 cross 5 so when the size is 1 cross 1 the output is depend only on that one particular pixel but when the size is not 1 cross 1 the output will also depend on surrounding pixels intensity transformation so when neighborhood size is 1 cross 1 then the operation is called intensity transformation or point processing so intensity transformation can be defined like this where r is intensity of input image and the s is intensity of output image and some example of intensity transformation are image negative log transformation power log or gamma transformation and piecewise linear transformation so first one is image negative so for image negative we subtract pixel intensity from highest pixel intensity possible in the pixel so by doing that color gets inverted means black become white and white become black so for color images we do same thing but in three channels and here is example of color inversion in color image The second one is log transformation. So log transformation can be defined like this. And here is its graph. So log transformation makes narrow range of low intensity wider and wide range of high intensity smaller. So in this graph you can see that for lower intensity the narrow range is becoming wider. And since the narrow range is becoming wider you will be able to differentiate some colors in output image. Which you can't in input image. So, if you focus on the face of the bird, then in output image, you can differentiate this uh, white color, yellow color, and red color. But in input image, you can't differentiate these colors. The third one is power law or gamma transformation. So, gamma transformation can be represented by this formula, and uh, here is its graph. So from graph you can see that for gamma less than 1 the result is almost similar to log transformation and for gamma greater than 1 the result is exactly opposite. For gamma less than 1 the result image become brighter and for gamma greater than 1 the result image become darker. Here in this example you can see that how output varies with different values of gamma. Uh, this one is original image and you can see that for gamma greater than 1 the output image become darker and for gamma less than 1 the output image become lighter and lighter display gamma all display devices like your computer screen have intensity to voltage response code which is a power function with exponent varying from 1.8 to 2.5 so on display image looks light image looks darker than original and this is called display gamma so if you give input signal like this, the transform output from display will look like this. So to prevent this, we give we give complement of this curve as an input. So after transformation, we get normal image. Histogram equalization. In histogram equalization, we try to flat the histogram so that the histogram become equally distributed among all intensities and contrast can be improved this is original image and you can see its histogram here and you can see that histogram is not equally distributed among all intensities here is output image and you can see that uh, contrast is much more improved and here is its histogram and you can see that histogram is not flat 
but it is equally distributed. Enhancement in frequency domain. In frequency domain, we don't work with original images, so we have to convert image from special domain to frequency domain. For this, there are many ways, but most famous ways is by using Fourier transformation, which was given by Fourier. And according to Fourier transformation, any non-periodic signal was area under the curve is finite, can be represented as integral of sine and cosine after being multiplied by a certain way. And here is formula for Fourier transformation, and here is formula for inverse Fourier transformation. There is no need to go behind mathematics on these formulas. Here is example of Fourier transformation. This is image in special domain and by using Fourier transformation we convert it into frequency domain. Low pass filter. So low frequency part contains smooth part and high frequency part contains sharp edges. So low pass filter remove high frequency component. So sharpness get removed and we get blurred image. So we have image in special domain and by using Fourier transform we convert it into Fourier frequency domain then apply filter on it and then by using inverse Fourier transform we convert back into special domain. I pass filter. So I pass filter remove low frequency component and low frequency component contains smooth content. I pass filter contains I pass filter remove low frequency components and low frequency components contain smooth or constant intensity parts so we get only edges and here the process is similar to low, low pass filter first we convert image into frequency domain then apply filter on it and then convert back to special domain Gaussian filter. In special domain, we have to perform operation on every pixel to apply Gaussian filter. But here we have to just convert Gaussian filter into frequency domain and then we have to multiply with image to get output. So we have image in special domain, we convert it into frequency domain, we convert filter into frequency domain and then we just multiply. So we get output and by invert transform we get image in special domain. This is our website and here you can see that uh, there are many tools, image encryption, technography, there are many tools but uh, here I will show you image negative, log transformation, gamma transformation, histogram equalization, low pass filter and high pass filter. So first one is image negative. Select a file. So this is our output image and you can see that uh, the color is inverted means black has become white and white has become black. The second is log transformation. So, as I have told you, for gamma less than 1, the image becomes brighter. So, let's take a value of gamma equal to almost 0.6.
so you can see that for gamma less than 1 the image become brighter so, now let's take the same image but uh, this time we will take gamma equal to 2 so for gamma greater than 1 the image become darker and you can see that the image is darker than the original one so histogram equalization improve contrast so you can see that if we give input uh, a low contrast image we will get high contrast image you can see that how the contrast is much more improved in output image. So next one is low pass filter. And here is a radius too. So you can adjust according to how much you want to blur. So you can see that the output image is blurred. The next one is high pass filter. So high pass filter gives edges. So you can see that in output image we have only edges and the smooth part is removed and there is blank.